What's up gamers? GamerDad here. This is a guide to help complete the week 9 weekly quest, stage 1 of 2, deal damage to opponents with shotguns. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do hit that button and show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad. All one word, all capital letters. I greatly appreciate your support. So, for this challenge, you need to do a total of 1,000 damage to opponents, which includes players, and the high card bosses, or an NPC. Um, but it's got to be with a shotgun, and there's multiple shotguns in the game. You can find shotguns on the ground, within chests. You can buy them from hollow chests, or you can buy them from NPCs. So in this case, from Paradise Meowsels, you can buy the Havoc Pump Shotgun. You can find um, Paradise Meowsels right here, west of Creaky Compound. Um, you can also buy from Kitbash. You can get the Maven Auto Shotgun. You can find... Kit Bash at Breakwater Bay. He's roaming up and down, and there's like a tower here just near the water. You can also buy the drum shotgun from Beast Mode, and I'll show you that exact location. It's at the Drift Ridge Racetrack. And you can also get the Sharp Tooth shotgun from Stingray. Stingray can be found way up in the very north of the map, just north of Lonely Labs, right there. So, as I say, you can find the a shotgun on the ground or within a chest. They're not hard to do. For this challenge, anytime you're going to try and get damage against opponents, one of your best strategies is to make sure you have 100 shields, 100 health anytime you engage in a battle. Using slap juice could also be advantageous. There's also various augments there that uh, favor the shotgun. There's one where you slide. Um, there's a reload one. There's multiple things there, but the best thing you can also do is carry around extra shields, slap, whatever it is you name it. If you're playing um, build instead of zero build, um, always use structures to kind of defend yourself. In this case, I was just trying to build the structures to kind of make the, this player come towards me, and then I was going to try and catch them off guard. So I got one shot in there, then they're going to build and protect themselves, but I'm just going to come around the back. Take them out. Blam. The Havoc Pump Shotgun is probably my least favorite, and I mean, the rarity is very low on this weapon, so the damage is pretty low. I was actually working on another challenge as I did this, so you can go for the other challenges, and then anytime you see someone, just make sure you always carry a shotgun, and then go after them. So here we go. With the shotguns, it's key. The better the damage, and if you go for headshots, you'll quickly eliminate people and get much higher damage. Don't shoot at people from far away with shotguns. They're honestly, like, fairly useless from afar. The drum shotgun or a shotgun that has high rarity will be a little bit better from far, but it's definitely best to do it with close up. Uh, in close range. So I'm at 280 of 1,000 at this point. There's one more player here, so I'm going to jump down. I did pick up the lever action shotgun out of the loot of a player that I eliminated earlier. So now I'm at 430 damage. And I'm going to go about doing another challenge. I end up dying uh, near the end of that match. So I fire up a new match. Now I'm going to land at this exact location at the Drift Ridge Racetrack, north of Mega City. This is where you'll find the NPC Beast Mode. I mentioned uh, Beast Mode earlier. And be this is my favorite shotgun in the game. It's the Drum Shotgun. And you'll want to come here quite quickly because I find that people come here and they hire Beast Mode. So if you've got enough gold bars, I've got 2,700 gold bars. I'm going to buy the Drum Shotgun. And then right after, I'm going to hire Beast Mode. That way no one else can get the shotgun. And I've also got a little bit of backup in case I get into a, you know, a fight with multiple people. Um, another bonus here is Beast Mode also gives you those small shield potions. So if you're in a fresh game, you don't have shields yet, you're going to pop those. You can pop off on the slap juice that was there. Now look for the bosses. This is another good way to do it. So there's bosses at Mega City and right here just north of me. And since it's deal damage to opponents, the boss, the high card boss and the two henchmen that accompany him um, count for damage here. So you can get damage against players or against opponents. And honestly, doing it against these bosses is probably the easiest way. And you can probably get a thousand damage, you know, super easily here. So as I was going for the bosses, I had to deal with this person. I'm now at 684. And the bosses, another bonus with the bosses is they're not even hostile to shoot them. So you want to make sure you've got at least 20 to 30 shotgun shells. The more, the better. Again, have 100 health, have some extra... Um, splash here and then you can literally walk up to a boss and just pop them even in the head and then just unload on them and kill all three of them get the vault card loot the vault and then you'll be on your way to a victory royale 
So I do hope the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and show me that support as well. Don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Thanks for your support. Good luck with your challenge, and until the next video, this is GamerDad out.